Welcome to this Nation Voice tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be taking you step by step on how to download, install, configure, and then hop on a Mumble server using the Mumble VOIP client. The first thing you need to do is you need to go to Google or any other popular search engine and search for Mumble. The first result for me is mumble.sourceforge.net. This is the trusted Mumble site and mainly the one you should be downloading from. The latest release right now is 1.2.3, although this may update later. I'm going to download the 1.2.3 stable release for Windows. Getting the stable release is always a good idea because it ensures that nothing has been touched or everything is working the way it should be. Now that my Mumble is done downloading, I'm going to go ahead and open the installer package. This is the Mumble install wizard. We're going to go ahead and hit next. I accept. And we're installing the Mumble uh, client, Mumble and Mumble backward compatibility client, which works with older versions of the server in case they're not running the up-to-date version. I'm going to go ahead and hit next and install. If you are prompted with a user account control dialog, click yes and the install should continue as it would without it. Now that the install is done, we have a finished screen with a start Mumble checkbox in the bottom left hand corner, which I'll click and we want to hit finish. Now this is the audio tuning wizard which you'll be greeted with after starting Mumble for the first time. This will take you through the steps of configuring your audio devices and also setting up your certificate. So we want to click next from the main screen. Feel free to read any of these dialogues if you wonder more about what the features in this tuning wizard do. This is the device selection prompt. At this point if you don't hear yourself through your own speakers then this isn't configured correctly. What you'll need to do is you'll need to select a different device. Now your input device is for your microphone and your output device is for your speakers. This will vary from PC to PC, but generally you want to mess around with the settings until you hear yourself. I'm going to hit next and the next screen we're prompted with is a device tuning. Now this changes the delay value and generally it basically just means that we want to make sure we have no interruptions or jitter in our sound. So you'll be able to hear a demo voice speaking at this point. Just slide the slider until the sound is perfectly clear and there's no interruptions. I'm going to hit next. This is the volume tuning wizard. Now this ensures that other people hear you clearly. This is very important if your microphone is loud or low as it can change the volume of which your mic is boosted at. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it there. You can read more about it in the dialogue itself. This is the voice activity detection dialogue. This determines what will be used to speak over Mumble to other people. In this case, I'm going to be using push to talk, which allows me to enable a button on my keyboard or mouse to talk to my other clan buddies. You can also use the uh, raw amplitude from the input to pick up on when you're speaking, which can then be adjusted by this slider here. If it's in the green zone, it generally means it'll be picked up quite well. I'm just going to bind a key for my push to talk, which is going to be control on my keyboard. This is the quality and notifications part of the uh, setup. You can leave this as it is. Uh, basically, the low is for low amount of bandwidth, sort of poor quality. The balance is for a good balance between quality, latency and bandwidth usage. This is probably the recommended default configuration and we can change it later. If you want to go for high, make sure you have good internet and you want optimum sound quality. Notification settings. This is just the text-to-speech which will notify you through a text-to-speech program within Mumble itself what's going on. So say if someone moved into your channel, the text-to-speech will actually notify you through audio. Now the next is the positional audio. You'll be able to hear a spinning sort of sound uh, coming from all directions, assuming you have some kind of 3D sound set up. You can read more about it in the dialogue. This isn't really that important, so I'm going to go ahead and click next. This is the final screen of our audio tuning wizard. It just basically says that we've done configuring everything, and it asks you if you want to submit anonymous statistics to the Mumble project, which will allow further development. So I'm just going to click finish. This is the certificate management, and this is a very important step because this is just like your password. This is a key file, a certificate that is stored in your computer that you need to back up. If you register with the server with this certificate, and you lose the certificate, and you try to go back on, you will not be able to use that username because this is, like I said, like your password. You will not have that anymore. So it's very important that you back this up. The easiest way to create it is just to check automatic certificate creation. I'm going to hit next and our certificate has been created and stored on our computer. 
We can now register with servers and receive privileges such as move privileges, admin privileges, and it'll store just fine without using any passwords. Now, after we're done configuring and creating our certificate for our user, we want to connect to some servers. So the first thing you'll be greeted with is a mumble server connect dialog. And in this dialog, you can join servers from around the world. Now, while this is very useful, this is not what I wanted to do. I want to connect to my own server that I just purchased off Nation Voice. So how do I do that? Well, we click add new, and this is basically a dialog to add servers to our favorites. So what I want to do is I want to type in Nation Voice Mumble. And uh, in the address, which is for the IP, I'm going to type my IP that was provided to me by Nation Voice. So, And then the port is assigned depending on your server. So these look OK. I'm going to hit OK and this gets added to my favorites. Now in my favorites, I can connect to servers that I want to regularly connect to. In this case, this is my own mumble. So we can see here the ping is 121 and there's no users in it. From here, we can click the connect button and that connects us to the server. So now we're connected to our nation voice mumble and uh, I'm ready to invite my friends in and we can go game. So this has been an easy step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install Mumble, configure it, and set up your certificate file. I hope you found it useful, and thank you for watching.